This is the biggest year. It's third year here at Tobacco Docks. It's a celebration of meat, live fire, wood, charcoal. There's no gas, there's no electricity that touches that. That's heresy, that's sacrilege. It's about the celebration of meat, because meat, it tastes good. I got friends who are vegan and they'll wear this shirt because they know it tastes good, but they, they're all ethical and stuff. And we're ethical too, man. You know, we want our animals to be happy before we cook them. But right now, please welcome to the stage, Jay Rayner. Good afternoon. Um, Meatopia started in New York over a decade ago, and it was started by a chap called Josh Azursky. He was a good mate of mine. He was a brilliant, brilliant journalist, a brilliant writer, and the bastard dropped dead on us in the spring of this year. I'm furious with him. Um, anybody who knew him, it would, it, it, you'd be hard pushed to say you were totally surprised, because he lived life uh, three handfuls at a time. Um, he was one of the founding figures in online journalism. If you post to Instagram, if you write a blog, if you read anything online about food, you've got a lot to thank Josh for, because without him, a lot of it wouldn't be there. He started Grub Street uh, for New York Magazine. And it, it, it's, it's important that we celebrate Josh's life, because he likes food that has parents. That's our food. Um, we love Josh, but he spawned this, and we've made it radder and, and better, you know? Before Meetopia was like a, a cool thing in America, but a smaller thing of, with bigger festivals, we made Meetopia its own here at the Back of the Dock. So it's it's an insane celebration of like 30 of the best, world's best chefs come here, Cobra Live Fire, we got the cutting room stage, five shows a day, and you know, two shows today were in foreign languages, and we had a packed crowd. I mean, who does that? <laughs> Barbecue. Uh, it's primal. We've, we've, you know, people say, who invented barbecue? You did. Your ancestors did because everybody can throw on live fire from the beginning of time. It's only in the last 70 years where we've gone to a gas and electricity to be a bit more easy. Now people realize there's flavor and fuel. So we've gone back outdoors to realize the, the, the breadth of flavors that you can get with, you know, fuel and, and grilling and searing and smoking and, you know, even all the wood smokes have different nuances and stuff. So, yeah, that's, yeah. What, that's what it's about. Your final message to people who might not have been here, what do we just say? Um, it sucks for you guys if you didn't come because you missed out on the best festival of the year. I mean, I've had people come from all over the world. They're like, dude, can we bring Meetopia to our country? I'm like, well, let's talk because it is the best festival going. <laughs>